So today we're going to talk about this massive list of games that have potentially leaked for Nintendo Switch Online, future releases for years to come, including brand new platforms. This might even apply to Nintendo Switch 2, we don't know, but really, this is just all about the Nintendo Switch Online. We have unreleased games, we have versions of games that have never come out before, we have games that you guys might be excited for as potentially coming out. There's so much going on in this list, and it all started with this post by Luigi Blood, at least started for me with this post by Luigi Blood over on Fami Boards. But here's the thing, that post is awesome, but there is so much more to this entire story because most of the listed games on that post come from the Giga Leak. These appear to be games that could be coming at some point in the future to Nintendo Switch Online. A few things that support this is the lot check, which is a certification process at Nintendo. The first batch of games have been certified and are essentially approved to release, and the second batch that we saw appears to have been submitted for lot check at the time of the Giga Leak. But it's unclear if they had passed the check at that time. Now, the biggest thing to consider in this, of course, is that while we go through all of this, if you're really appreciating this video, I hope you consider subscribing to the channel. We're on our road to 150 thousand subscribers and deep dives like this don't come around often now after reading that post and going over it i thought that's where this story was going to end mostly you know here's a nice little list of games from a well-known nintendo leak that still haven't hit nintendo switch online but boy i was certainly wrong there are way more games than the one listed in that post, but beyond that, it appears a full-on Nintendo Switch Online plan has unfolded before our very eyes, and most of the internet seems to be overlooking it. First, we have to start with what the heck the Giga Leak is, because it's actually been a handful of years since it was last making the headlines. The Giga Leak is a massive data breach of Nintendo that started in 2018 and reached its conclusion and ultimate climax in 2021. The original data in 2018 contained 10 different sets of data, ranging from console source code to dev tools and internal documentation. Some pretty cool stuff, but in the grand scheme of things, it wasn't too interesting for the general public. However, that all changed on July 24th, 2020, when three gigabytes of internal data from Nintendo got dumped online. How that data got out is still Still mostly a public mystery. Some believe it was from some people Nintendo got previously convicted of accessing Nintendo data and this was just the totality of what they had, while others feel it was from a contracted company by Nintendo. But to this day, we still don't exactly know how the data hit the internet. But in case you're wondering, Nintendo did acknowledge the leaks in June of 2022. Just a small detail, but an important one as it validates the information. Of course, it was well known to be real information due to the sensitive nature of some of the data. Email addresses, personal contact information, email exchanges internally were all included. So it was well known to be legit, but Nintendo's recognition of it was the final nail needed to ensure the credibility of the information. While today we're focused on games from the leak and other sources coming in the future to Nintendo Switch Online, it's notable that there was some downright fascinating information in the Giga Leak. One that hasn't been talked about in forever is that there was an alternate prototype model of the GameCube. While the Wii U is often credited with being the stepping stone to Nintendo Switch, an alternative model of the GameCube once existed that had a built-in screen in the controller and then docked with your TV. The dates on this coincide roughly with the time frame of Satura Iwata taking over, showing that the idea for Switch has probably been at Nintendo since the very beginning of the Satura Iwata era. Just a fun little nugget. Anyways, the leaks continued in various batches all throughout 2020, with the last known batch dropping in 2021. There are estimations that there is actually over two terabytes of information in total, though not all of it has released. We cannot know if the rest of the data will ever be dropped on the internet. Also, I want to give the internet a little bit of credit. Despite personal information being all over these leaks, few people have tried to actively do anything nefarious with it, so that's actually one of the times the internet got things right. 
That being said, while it seemed nothing in here really had to do with NSO releases, over time, it actually has shown to not be true. Star Fox 2, as an example, was known and approved, and it came out on the Super Nintendo Entertainment Classic and eventually Nintendo Switch Online as well, just to give one example. But this has been proven true with several other games. Game & Watch Gallery 4, the Japanese version, never actually released back in the day despite passing Lot Check, but then did release on Virtual Console. Lots of little examples of why we need to pay attention. I reached out to Luigi Blood, trying to dig into the information and gain a greater understanding of what's going on and how to even report this. I want to strong note here that while we're about to get into the weeds a bit and have a lot of information thrown your way, we cannot guarantee that any of the games you're about to learn about will actually be on Nintendo Switch Online one day. What we can say is there are many reasons to believe they could possibly appear, be it due to prior virtual console releases, third-party comments and interviews, data mining, or just due to the GigaLeak itself. What is mostly true is in many cases, a lot of these games have at least had something done to them, making them candidates to come out in future Nintendo Switch Online updates for years. Now first, let's talk about a few specific use cases that are unique. Dr. Mario 64, the Japanese version, and Panel de Pond 64 are possible based on Nintendo's official Nintendo 64 emulator they built for GameCube and Wii, which fully recognizes both games. Though in Japan, they ended up on GameCube as ports. Something to consider if they release N64 versions on Nintendo Switch Online elsewhere. Game & Watch Gallery 2 has a full color version ready to go in Japan. However, they never released it despite the color version dropping on Game Boy Color elsewhere. When they brought it to the 3DS Virtual Console, they used the non-colored old version. This does leave the colored version still sitting there waiting for release. Maybe a possible future NSO Game Boy release, perhaps. Also, Nintendo did some weird things in the past that should bear some fruit. There is an English version of Gargoyles Quest 2, which is notable because an English version never released publicly. The thing is, the first game ended up dropping on Nintendo Switch Online, opening the gate for the second version to go as well. To prove this is possible, we only need to look at a similar situation with Magical Drop 2. It also had an old English version that never released publicly, but then they ended up dropping that English version on Nintendo Switch Online. This really reminds me of the old Gargoyles cartoon and how great it was. Or was that show actually good? Maybe I'm just feeling nostalgic right now. You guys let me know for anyone who remembers the Gargoyles show. Anyways, all throughout the Giga Leak is a bunch of unreleased ROMs, be it games that never came out, or really what we are focused on, games that have localization that never released. It's important to note all of this because Nintendo has been releasing these sorts of games all throughout the Nintendo Switch Online's lifespan. Another interesting one is Zero Racers. Did you know gaming did a small section on it during a lost Nintendo game segment that involved talking to ex Nintendo employees who talked about working on this game. It did pass lot check, which we noted earlier needs to happen for a game to release, but it never actually came out. It's notable here as this is the first time we're mentioning a virtual boy game, though it was in the initial post we shared earlier from Luigi blood. Virtual Boy is not currently part of Nintendo Switch Online, but given it is an old Nintendo platform and every game on it can be reworked to work on a normal screen as emulators have done, it is easy to imagine Nintendo will one day add the system and probably its entire library to Nintendo Switch Online. What would end up making that library extra exciting would be releasing Zero Racers just like they did with Star Fox 2. The game is done. It passed Nintendo's checks. It just needs to be released. Nintendo Switch Online is the perfect opportunity to drop it and drive interest to the Virtual 
Boy Edition one day. Speaking of games on the mega list we're about to show, that's right, we have a huge list. We got a double one that's not from the Giga Leak, and that is Odama for Nintendo Wii will be on the list. Now, there's a released GameCube version, but we have data off a 3DS kiosk hard drive that shows the game was actually approved for Wii. Well, it may be a stretch to even consider Wii being added the virtual console at this time, especially when Switch does not have an IR sensor near the TV. It's at least worth considering the possibility one day, especially if a future platform adds a sensor on the dock or offers an accessory to bring back the full Wii functionality. That, or if there is ever major improvements to gyro motion controls to make it nearly one-to-one -to, -one to the old Wii days. This is just one to keep track of in the back of your mind for way down the road. There is also a chance that Mini Racers ends up coming out and has apparently passed Lot Check and Miyamoto was even involved. But all of this comes down to a user on Twitter called Manfried, who at least at the time of making this video, I have not verified they actually know what they claim to know. Though this was shared to me by Luigi Blood and I am under great impression at least that he is extremely thorough Though, hey, we're all only human. Anyways, I wanted to go over all of this because as was explained to me, all the rest of the games we're about to look at beyond these are directly from the Giga Leak in various ways. So ends the journey of explanation. And now we're going to enter a giant spreadsheet of information we'll go through together. I want to note before I dive in that this information has been compiled by Luigi Blood as far as I'm aware. And while I have looked at some of the Giga Leak information to verify at least a couple of the titles, I have not gone through to verify all of this information. However, this information has been ran through different circles, including FAMI boards, and it all seems to be checking out. I just wanted to make that note. I will provide all sourcing down below, including a link to this document if you would wish to dig deeper. Uh, and even, you know, Luigi Blood's Twitter, if you would like to reach out to him yourself. My goal here is just to give you the information on potential future Nintendo Switch Online releases, because naturally it's fascinating to figure out, especially for the few chances it is something that has never been public before. Now, here we are looking at this giant document. You see a bunch of pages down here. We'll go through the pages, but first we're going to start with the unreleased list. Now, there is a color key for this. Here it is on screen. I'm going to keep this color key up for you guys at all times because obviously like Star Fox 2 has come out, uh, but as you notice in the color key, it says, you know, it will be on NSO. It is on NSO. We already know it already got released on Nintendo Switch Online. But now you're going to see unreleased title, maybe likely or not. You'll see uh, Halley Fighter there from NES. You'll say uh, Pamuts. Uh, from NES, you'll say uh, Puzakado. I'm, I'm butchering the Japanese ones here. Um, also for the Nintendo Entertainment System, you'll see Sound Fantasy for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. You'll see Mini Racers that we mentioned before for the Nintendo 64. Pokemon Picross for Game Boy slash Game Boy Color. Then you see the Zero Racers that we mentioned earlier for Virtual Boy and Bound High. Now, one game you'll notice in this first batch is Hello Kitty Pocket Camera. Um, and this one is listed as red, which means um, unlikely to re-release. Now, uh, if you look at the notes here, um, it says Hello Kitty version of uh, Game Boy Color never released and probably never will. So it's kind of one of those that the game probably isn't considered big enough or important enough, right? It, it's one of those um, licensed games that, one, requires licensing rights to release, and because it never released originally, and there's no rights held by Nintendo, it probably never will uh, come out. So that, that's where you kind of get into that. Now, you see here uh, also a list here says Lot Checked Approved. This is important because if it's already passed Lot Check, that just makes it more possible. If you're seeing the word likely, it means it was submitted for Lot Check, but as of the data we have in the Giga Leak, we aren't sure if it actually passed. These are ones, that, though, that we know did pass lot check, which means they're ready to go. Uh, now you see Snorlax's lunchtime. You notice that this has been released on Virtual Console before, so very highly likely that they're going to bring that game back eventually um, in some form. Again, it was on the Pokemon Mini. They'll figure out a way to get that on NSO in some form. Then you see um, alternate versions of games. These are the ones that might have different localizations and all this stuff that never actually ended up releasing in the past that could really infer that, hey, this is going to end up coming out. So obviously, first we see uh, Dead Dance, Tough Enough, and Panel the Pawn. Uh, these are both listed as it will be on NSO. Uh, one of it is because, hey, this one did release on NSO. 
And this one released on the Wii, Wii U, SSF Mini, and NSO, um, sometimes just in specific countries. Um, probably going to come to other countries as well, but you see it ended up releasing in North America and Japan. You see it marked right here. But then we get down to the unlikely to release, because uh, it might have been released in the past, the Famicom, um, this game here, and then uh, Mario Bros. Classic, which... This one is interesting that the Mario Bros. Classic is considered as something that might not come um, because it was only released in Europe, closer to the arcade version, plus Jump Improvement. A Japanese version exists, but it never released. It's quite fascinating because, to me, I feel like this one has, has a possibility of coming one day. But, again, um, it's, it's, it's listed as unlikely, not necessarily that it won't actually ever come out. Uh, then we see Suit Haken um, as unreleased uh, and Famicom Bunku. These are both unreleased games. Uh, they might prefer to release the SNES version. Seems to be the, the consensus there, uh, but they could be coming out. Uh, Game Boy uh, Gallery 2, Game & Watch Gallery 2. Um, it was released on Virtual Console. Highly likely to come out on NSO. Um, then we see Gimmick Land here. Uh, which says unlikely to be released. Uh, the reasoning here was I uh, was released on GBA as Tomato Adventure. I don't see this Game Boy Color version ever releasing. So it's kind of like this specific version might never come out. Uh, it might be more likely they bring out the uh, GBA version, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Sweet Hawk GB, uh, Twinkie Popo Kirby's Dreamland, and uh, Odama for Nintendo Wii. This is a big deal with this Wii one because this is the only Wii game you're seeing on this unreleased list. And again, we're talking about possible new system ads here. You see Virtual Boy, you see Wii. Pretty fascinating. Um, not seeing GameCube on, on this list, but still really, really fascinating. Uh, the big thing with Dama Wii is it originally used a microphone, but they have an unreleased Wii version completed. Um, now, there was the Wii Speak, of course, so maybe it required that accessory. We don't know. Uh, but just pointing out that, hey, uh, that is a possibility, and uh, it's likely or not likely. We don't know. You know, It's kind of like one of those up in the air. Uh, now we have the localizations. This is where things get really fascinating. Um, first off, we have, obviously, Earthbound Beginnings Mother. This is already on NSO, The Immortal, Magical Drop 2, Dr. Mario 64. Uh, it's not released here in Japan yet, even though there is a Japanese version. But again, they took the Japanese version and they put it on GameCube. So maybe they'll never release the Japanese one. Kind of weird. Would I, I think people in Japan would prefer to have the N64 version than not have anything at all. But what are you going to do? Uh, the point is that these games have all been on NSO in various ways. Uh, but these were also in the Giga League. So this is kind of like verifying information lets you know, hey, some of the stuff in the Giga League is worth paying attention to because look at the games that have already come out. Um, here's the Panel of the Bomb Pokemon Puzzle League stuff for N64. has not come out yet. Um, then we have uh, Kick Attack. Kick Attack uh, and Lunar Chase X and WarioWare Twisted. Now, these are, if you look at the color code sheet, got to mention these next few sheets are for main Nintendo stuff, rarely third-party stuff. There's no color code for this, so I think these are just on here to, to note that these games exist. It says, unreleased in Japan, Nintendo has a Japanese ROM, did release in the West. Um, you'll see this here, Accelerometer, an unreleased European version exists, was completed at the time. So that's quite fascinating to pay attention to. Then you see Drill Dozer in Game Boy Gallery 4. Now, look, this is just going over uh, the unreleased list. There is a hell of a lot more stuff going on. Um, so there's this list here where things get really, really exciting. Um, first, you have the unlikely to be released stuff, the Donkey Kong Classic Edition, um, the Earthbound Beginnings, Excite Bike, Mach Rider, the Tower of Babel, and Wrecking Crew. Now, it's these specific versions um, that they're talking about unlikely to be available because they're probably available in other versions. But then you get to this where it's like, you know, unreleased revision of, of one Japanese version of Tough Enough. So you see Dead Dance, Magical Drop 2, um, which, again, we, we ended up getting uh, Mario, no, Super Pit Cross, Panel of the Pond, Star Fox 2. Again, we did get this one. Uh, so that's kind of quite fascinating. Um, then you see Sin and Punishment, Mario Tennis, Mario Golf, and Perfect Dark. Again, these are all possible um, to come on because they have been on virtual console. Uh, and then you see all these ones of the Mega Man Network games. Uh, obviously excite some people. Well, we got to get into some other stuff here. So these are some missing stuff from the Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, some stuff, you know, like required the Zapper. That can be a little different. Or Gyromite uh, that, that required, obviously, uh, Rob. But you see a lot of stuff on here. Um, you know, like these ones are, all these red ones are considered unlikely to release Nintendo World Championships. Obviously, they just did a Nintendo World Championships game. Uh, so it would probably be unlikely that they ever uh, fully fully bring out the 1990 version, but who really knows? Maybe they will.
right? Who knows what Nintendo's going to do? But these are just the list right now of current games that are possible but have not been released on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Same thing here with the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Obviously, all these games up here, we already know. They're on NSO, right? That's why they have all the check marks. But then look at all these ones down here uh, as possibilities, but we don't know for sure. Um, a lot of interesting stuff that you see in here. You know, you see this like fire emblem, uh, Thracia 776. It would be interesting uh, to see that come out. Um, I'm seeing, you know, Mario Paint in here. It would just be cool to see Mario Paint make its way out. Uh, and all some of these other various Mario games. Probably not likely to see a lot of the stuff that was made by third parties, but you know, it's always possible. You never really know what Nintendo's going to do. Um, you're seeing, obviously, Super Mario RPG. They probably won't uh, put that on NSO since they did do a remake. Uh, that's probably why this is red. 2023 remake isn't happening. So, like, yeah, probably isn't going to happen, but who the heck knows, right? Like, again, that's why it, the color code is unlikely not impossible because we don't know the decisions Nintendo will make with some of this stuff. Um, you can go down here and you can see all, all the BS Zelda stuff. This would be really, really cool if they decide to bring the BS Zelda stuff over. Uh, a lot of people haven't played it. But anyways, that's kind of the look there. Now we get to the missing N64 titles. Uh, you'll see Animal Crossing up in here. Don't know if we'll ever get it uh, because you know we're probably more likely to get the GameCube version than the, the Japanese N64 version. Uh, Banjo-Tooie. Obviously, I think we're probably going to get that. We got Banjo-Kazooie. I think it's just a matter of time. Um, you see Bomberman 64. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. A lot of these games I really love uh, a lot. You know, NSO app, uh, Conquer's Bad for a Day. Uh, just a lot of interesting stuff on this list. Let me get into the missing Game Boy slash Game Boy Color games. Look at this list. It's huge. I'm just showing it on screen. We could be talking about this list for literally an hour if we want to just go through literally everything but you know you got everything from the donkey kong land games uh to the game boy war games to the kirby games kid icarus myths of monsters um like a lot of this stuff has been on virtual console before uh but it hasn't come out yet we have our wario land games a lot of us really want wario land games to come back so that would just be a big w then you get to the Game Boy Advance games. Uh, would be sick to see a lot of these. A bunch of these, again, were on Virtual Console. Uh, but a bunch of them weren't. Like a bunch of the Donkey Kong countries may or may not because they existed on other platforms. Um, you know, Grunty's Revenge, if that's ever going to come out, who knows. Uh, but, you know, your Mario Golf Advance Tour, stuff like that. A lot of these, I think, are possible. Some of the games, though, that really stand out when I start to look is, oh, man, um, Pokemon. So we have Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, Pokemon Fire, Red, and Leaf Read. I always wondered if Pokemon games ever had a chance to come to the Nintendo Switch Online, the mainline games. Would it be like the original old school version releases, or would it be like the remastered, remade versions they've done over time, like Pokemon, you know, Red, uh, you know, Blue, Red, Yellow, Green, or whatever? Yeah, they remade them into Fire, Red, and Leaf Green. Would that be the version they release instead, but do the Game Boy Advance version instead of the original? Now, you can argue for classic and reasons. You should just put all versions on NSO. And as of right now, they've not added a single mainline Pokemon game. But it is fascinating that they're here. They're on the list. They're possible, though, until we end up getting mainline Pokemon. Who knows? But I just I, I teased this a little bit last night that, hey, there's a possibility that we could be uh, talking about these games uh, down the line on Nintendo Switch Online. And then um, these are just missing, you know, missing online apps and, 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 and missing information, um, you know, just stuff that's for fun. Some of this stuff is repeats. And then we get on over to uh, GameCube. Uh, this is where, like, look, there's no GameCube on NSO, and we're, we're still not sure if GameCube ever will be on NSO, but these are just kind of all the possible games that could get added. Um, again, they talk about the remasters and all this, making certain things unlikely, of course, but still, uh, you look at this list and go, damn, that would be one hell of a GameCube NSO. It also shows that despite all these remasters and ports and there's a lot of games on this list that have not been remastered or ported that could still make for a really compelling, um, a really, really compelling list. And again, this is just like first party. It's not even getting into all the third party stuff like Rogue Squadron, as an example. That would just be really sick. Um, and then this is for the Nintendo DS. Um, some of this stuff, you know, has been released on Virtual Console before. Probably going to see it again. Big Brain Academy, Wild World, Advance Wars, Dual Strike. A lot of these games should be seeing comebacks. 
Um, I wouldn't be surprised if more of the Mario and Luigi games come back, especially with the new Mario Luigi Brothership game coming out. Then you get to the Pokemon games. So like, there's just a lot of possibilities here. But again, the biggest list we want to pay attention to is the uh, unreleased list. This is something that has a huge potential to create a lot of hype, and we'll just have to wait and see. Anyways, folks, I want to thank you so much for being here. I am Nathaniel RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. Let me know what you think about all this craziness down below. All the links and all the sources are down there. So many possibilities. This is insane. My mind is blown. Um, you guys, let me know what you think about this. If you want to continue to follow the updates, be sure to just check in uh, with Luigi Blood, who does tweet some updates and stuff out now and then over on Twitter. Everything linked down below. You guys are wonderful. I'll catch you guys in the next video.